And he asked me if I ever did a fucking foot job. And I'm like, no. Oh, my God. This guy is wild. I never did that. Ee Can you not? That's right, because Daddy's a dancer, and he dances a lot. Did I say hot? I meant not. Erroneous. Erroneous on both counts. Like, what goes on? The devil was an angel, but now he's not. Jesus was a baby, and now he's not. God was a cloud, but now he's not. Don't eat that fucking apple, bitch. It's full of rot. An eternal sin for the human race. Welcome to another episode of the What Goes On Podcast. I am one half of this podcast. I am your commander-in-chief. Um, I am Captain Passion. I am King Daddy, King Thick. That's right. Here with my sister. Amanda. Amanda Marie. That is right. And we have a special guest. She is off camera. Yes, we have Hope with us today, my bestie. Amanda's best friend, Hope, is with us. Let's give a round of applause for Hope. Yeah. <laughs> that opening song is for Hope because she loves Jesus. <laughs> and I just want to let her know that we, Jesus is here with us. It says in the, it says in the Bible that when three or more are gathered, <gasps> Jesus is here. Oh, amen. Praise I God. Love PG. That. Praise I love God. That. Well, welcome everybody to another episode. We're here and the sunglasses are on again this again. week because um I think we're just becoming alcoholics and maybe drug addicts. No, no, Who no. knows? Just drinking. All right. So, um last week, as you may have noticed, the pod was a little short. Yes, <laughs> I know. I would no. This would be a good time for me to Acknowledge that Johnny Anthony should probably win an award, Thank maybe you. like an Oscar. Wait, for editing Thank because you. Thank you. I don't know if anybody noticed, but last week I was mm, off the rails. Disaster. Wasted. Wasted. And when I originally saw the post, because Johnny Anthony does all the editing behind the scenes, so when I originally saw it, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, we talked about so much more. Why did he edit thought, so much stuff? You thought. Right? So then I'm like, I totally get it now. I know why reality stars are upset by the way that they're portrayed. Yeah, she's fucking giving me shit talking about, oh my god, I can't believe my edit. Now I understand how all these uh, reality <laughs> stars feel. You edit me so bad. You're just bashing me for, for fucking 40 yeah. minutes. So, I go, listen, boo. Yeah. The raw data that so I had I to deal I with. I played the raw clip of like everything from beginning. <laughs> <laughs> to end of us filming and honestly the fact that john anthony was even able to pull 38 minutes together of that <laughs> is fucking astonishing no were... really it is i've never seen anything like it it was so fucking bad, bad. spiraling out the of picture control fell everything disaster that and I i'm slurring my words john anthony's <laughs> like aren't you gonna talk about that and i'm like what and i'm going off the ramp like it was it was you know, and you deserve credit because Thank you, you did. Oh, that warms my heart because no, and I, we, yeah. we start this podcast, we literally don't really talk about anything. It's like rare that we'll say, oh, like, we'll Let's bring up this, this right? or we'll bring up that. So it happened to be last week. She goes, oh, I want to talk about this. I go, okay. So, you know, we start, we're going through a natural flow and I go, okay, it's it's the natural progression. He's Here's story me time. Teeing you know? me up. And Teeing I her up for story time like a no. fucking t-ball. And she's just not getting it. Not at all. She's just flipping her hair. She's fucking <laughs> not even talking to the mic. She just doesn't it's care. True. She forgets we're on a podcast. Yeah, she just I'm doesn't smiling. give a shit. Yeah. And then I literally have to cut it because I just take my sunglasses off. And I start yelling at her. I go, I don't know what you want me to do, but you just told me three times you want to tell a story. And I try. And when we and start, just, I don't it. say it. It's gone. I don't say it. He's like, all right. So when I say, that's when I want you to bring up what you want to talk about. I'm like, okay, no problem. All right, go. Mm, and nope. he talks about it. And... I just... Say, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? When are we getting food? I know. I go, okay. I know. Now, now All right, so yeah, Johnny Anthony definitely deserves credit Thank for that. You. At first I was mad, but now, like, I get it. Thank you. I get it. Okay, fair so, enough. So, now that that's all out in the open and yeah. hashed out... Yeah. We told you last week... Oh, my God. Okay? Yeah, fuck you. This podcast basically started with a little uh, love triangle between um, me, a.k.a. Drew... And uh, one of our uh, uh, one of our bravest out there, a soldier boy. Soldier boy. He's in another country. Yeah. Okay. I know where he is. Yeah. And he's um, in Kuwait. And I. <laughs> he's in Kuwait. 
<laughs> he's in Kuwait. He's in Kuwait. And um, I supposedly, issued, supposedly, but, nobody knows anything about this guy really because when it comes but, down to it, there's just a really good chance that he's just a predator. No, like really, like a master fucking manipulator. No, really, no, really. <laughs> No, really. I'm convinced. No, really, because I've never Okay, seen wait. Can't. So I issued a warning to our guy last week, and I said if he didn't come correct... No, and he did. There's going to be... There's gonna, you're going to be disciplined. Like, sorry, you're gonna not sorry. You're going to be disciplined. Yep. So now here we are, mm-hmm. over week a week later. later, because we had to push the podcast back for dick. circumstances that also will not be talked about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now here we are. And, it's and, my um, fault. You know what? So I, why, don't at you, some why don't you take over and you just give I'm us a rundown? Take, I'm, I'm going to take some accountability because we tried it. He didn't. He wasn't really receptive when we called him. But then he was. But was he? You tell me. Well, no. But that's the thing. Like, he, he, he strayed away from what the whole thing was. You know, he was like, well, how would you? Days later, he's like, well, how would you help? So I go in. I said, listen, we can help you find Drew if you have more information. Because, you know, we talked about this last time. I can probably investigate a little bit. I could probably find out, mm-hmm. you know, if you had more information for me about right. that. Right. I know you can. So I asked him where he was stationed, and he was like, um, before I go trusting you with my station, um, this is a major issue. So I feel like he was really good at, like, flipping it. So, like, I kind of, like, felt for him. Right. And, like, I was, like, I was the one, like, being nice and trying to capture him to engage the quick synopsis is that we made a mistake well when i say we i mean me right you know i let him down this rabbit hole of deceit and lie and shadow play and i apologize on a public forum for that which is but, fine but, but here's the that's thing that's not what this is about but it's not it's thank you into something now it's probably different. something different because you want to know what actually happened baba okay does everybody want to know because i've been what? getting a lot what? of you want to know what actually, what actually happened no but what i'm saying you know because oh. you told me it was a joke, right? It was, this was all like, it happened and it was funny and we thought he was going to be mad. But then he started, you know, indulging us in like, oh, maybe I do want help with text. And once he said, once you told me he sent that, I go, we fucking got him. Yeah, but now no, he's locked but in. Then, and then it's but my then, fault. Like, not to sound like cocky or anything. Like, I don't mean that in any way. But like, I sent him a picture of me and and it, it kind of just like shifted the dynamic all of a sudden like there was there, like it didn't matter about my brother it didn't matter about lauren Pray. it didn't matter about drew Predator. it didn't matter he was married like all Lunch. of it like didn't matter right so he was like send me your instagram and your all this because like See? i don't want to feel like whatever He's so, like, I don't want to. I don't want to give you all, you all this information. Yeah, because he thought that and... we were gonna basically destroy him on the show, which I'm only doing now because he ended up being a total dick. Thank you. So I can totally get why Lauren's fucking doing Drew because what? you're a fucking asshole. Wha- no, like fuck wow. that. No, like fuck that. No, fuck. Tell. That. So then he's oh. like, so he's telling me that his number that he uses is gonna so, expire. So let's talk through Snapchat. So right there, at that moment, you think it's flipping. Clearly, he looked at our Instagram. He had some sort of uh, reaction to you. No, I sent him photos. Ooh, what kind of photos? Like selfies right. of myself. Okay. So then. So he, now he he's now his brain's tussling and rustling. Yeah. So he's like, wow, like I wasn't expecting you to be so gorgeous. Oh, blah, blah, you blah. see, you like, fucking dirtbag. We try to do a nice thing, and this is what you did. I mean, okay? is that making you him a dirtbag? Trying to get your fucking into my sister. That's not even why he becomes a dirtbag, though. Like that's not even it. Like it's whatever. Not even, like it's you're not even iceberg. To say, you're allowed to say, so we exchange photos or whatever. So then he sends me this photo. He's in the gym. Yes. Holding. So okay. Start. Okay. For, okay. No. Okay. Wait. No. Let me go. Because that might seem impressive to a fucking girl. No, but girl. he didn't even acknowledge he that. Sweats, and that's what I wait. Wait. He sends a photo. First of all, a gym selfie. First of all, you're a fucking loser. Yeah, but he even said, no, he's like, I only no. have D-bag gym pics. Sorry. Okay. Like, Just you know, because you're self-aware like, oh, that's cool. doesn't mean you're not no, a but... D-bag. <laughs> so, okay, so he said it's a selfie, a side profile in a, in a full-length mirror in a gym. Yeah. Loser. Yeah. And then you think you're cool. You're holding a 35-pound... <laughs> is it 35? 35-pound plate. Pounds it is, I, I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, I know he doesn't I look can't. like it, but the kid's a fucking thick, sturdy boy, and I know what I'm talking about. Okay? He's holding a 35-pound plate. Maybe. In his arm, like what? Are you, even if you're doing shrugs, that's pathetic. Okay. Whatever. I don't. You're whatever. not fucking tough, and you're not fucking cool. I know. So. And your tattoos so are talking, fucking lame. No, but this is where the thing. So I'm. T- we're talking, and I'm like, all right. Well, how old are you? He tells me he's 30 years old. 
the lie detector the lie detector determines that, that was is a, a lie. lie. Okay? You're you're He looks forty five. Right. Let's just say what it is. Okay, right, okay. He looks forty five. So okay, so then he goes, How old are you? And At I'm least. like I said I was thirty two and he was like, Oh wow, I thought you were like twenty five. So that was like the first red flag. So I'm like, Okay, when he saw the picture of me, he thought that I you was were younger, young, so he, so he aged was down. trying to lie about how old right, he was. Exactly. So but then I, even that I was like, you know what, whatever, Fine. like I get it, because I'm not an asshole. Best like, case, maybe he is just 30. Tony lied a couple years. But, no big but deal. But maybe he's even 40. Maybe not the worst thing in the world. But, Still not but, even mad. But here he goes. Okay. So, and obviously, based on this picture, you can tell, like, those are, like, old style tattoos. Like, you literally don't look 30 years old, mm, but nope. whatever. Mm, exactly. Nope. So, later on, he sends me another photo, which he looks super young. And he had sent me another one where I wasn't able to capture because uh, we were talking Instagram. And he was like, don't save these photos. So, obviously, I used my work phone and took a picture of my phone so I can Obviously. actually have these. Like, always clearly. have two phones on you and always <laughs> save the ed- evidence. Always have the receipts on So hand. he looks young in these photos. So now I'm like, he probably sent me photos from like 2014. Exactly. Like dude. literally. I know. I can't even believe it. Really. I'm like in such disgust by it. Alright, so get it. So let's so, go. So whatever. Let he it, ends up, I don't fly. know. Obviously it was on Snapchat so it starts, like the conversation goes away. So at this talking. point you're interested. Well, yeah, looking like, guy, yeah, he's in the military, like, okay, yeah. he's got tattoos. No, that's he's, not why. He's throwing around First weight thing, in the gym. It was interesting. I have John Anthony breathing down my neck telling me we need an interview. We need an interview. So I'm like, fuck it. Hey, if I get to flirt with a guy and we get a fucking interview out of it. Exactly. Win-win. Win-win. Hello? Don't touch me. So, <laughs> you're such a dick. So, we're, we're talking, whatever. Here. But he even, like, makes a point. And this is such a, looking back, because hindsight's twenty twenty. obviously, he, like, makes a point to, like, say, like, I don't want it to only be something like a conversation that you and your brother talk about like i want this to i want to have a building relation a building oh trusting relationship God. like because like, he i guess to some degree now think you know he's going through a divorce this maybe he's nervous people were here so he's trying to like i get it like you want trust i want trust too fine like we can do that oh my god so yeah so we're we ended up talking a lot during the day uh-huh and then um he brought up some i don't know how this came up <laughs> we started talking about dicks and like I don't oh, know you don't know how it came now, up now I really don't because I remember saying I said to my cousin I was oh like, cool well, my nice pic of you in the gym by the way how big is your fucking brush gadoosh that's probably how no, it came up no I think we were talking up. about dick pics because he was talking about sending pictures and I was like well obviously don't send a picture that's unwarranted I was like men have a tendency of like not all of them but don't send me a dick pic if I didn't ask for a dick pic. Yeah, dicks are gross. gross. Because you're gross now, you know? But then I told him, I was like, a cousin of mine tells me that she always wants to see dick pics before even going out with a guy because she's not even going to waste her time. And I was like, oh, okay. That's Time out. <sighs> Time out. Okay, we're brother and sister, so your cousin is my cousin, yeah. and I want to know who the cousin is. No, obviously not even going down that road. But can anyway, you, so give I me a clue. Of, no, I can give you a clue. A clue? That no one else would know. What Give me a this? clue. Clues, clues? No, I'm not giving you a clue. <laughs> Give me a little bit of a clue. Tell me a family story. Maybe, like, no one else would know. Give okay. me a clue. I'm not. What does it rhyme with? I'm not giving you anything like that. So, anyway, so he was like, oh, yeah, I mean, what would be Fuck. the sense in, like, getting to know some guy if he has, like, a two inch dick? Once he said that, he's running with the two inch dick. And I'm like, it'll stop gross. But he keeps talking about dicks being two inches. So now I'm like, Oh my god. Maybe he has maybe one he and has, he just wants to condition you to, to see like what my reaction right. is or whatever. So like I was like That's like, what I do. I was like nervous. I was like, what is even happening right now? Right. So you know, after talking to each other for like probably eight to ten hours straight, mm-hmm. um, we We what? <laughs> I have, we eventually talk about it and I'm like, okay, like yeah, I wanna see it. See what we're so, dealing with here? Do what? you see the kind of human being that I was raised with? Oh my there? god. Like, so what? Because I was so the fuck what? No, it's not a big deal, but the fact that you preface it by, like, we've been talking for like 10 hours. What? So not okay. 10 days, 10 hours. It's not like I touched it. It's not like I fucking sucked it. You probably like, would have if it was ew, there. No. Continue. So we send you a, a cockpit on what? Instagram? On Snap, which I didn't take a picture with my work. Oh moment. my god, the most important part! Okay. Take a picture of the dick! Everyone knows that! Alright, fine, maybe I have it, but I'm not gonna show yeah! you. Yeah! But I'm not gonna show you it. Cause that'd be good. The camera can't see it. I wanna see it. Alright, I'll show you later. Is it nice? It's on the other phone. Is it nice? So it was no, that it wasn't two inches. Is it clean? It looks clean. You need a clean cock. Obviously. PSA for all the guys out there, you need a clean cock. 
Okay? It can be big, small, just make sure it's clean. Yeah, Make so, sure it's presentable. So whatever, we spoke back and forth, whatever. Thank you. And then um, he was like, oh, I want to call you. So then the next day we spoke on the phone. And it like, you know, I guess it was starting to progress, but I told him, I was like, listen, like, I, and he was talking about when he was coming back in December right. and how he wants to see me. Oh, and I'm like, wow. listen, let's not set unrealistic expectations for right. what this is going to be. I'm like, you're cool. You think I'm cool. Like, whatever. Like, it's fine. He was totally chill with that. Whatever. To- I thought, I thought this was going to be a good situation. I was right. like, oh, he's cool. Like, I'm totally honest. You know, in, my, like- in my, in uh, my estimations, I was like, oh, wow. Like, Amanda will lure her, lure him in. We'll get our fucking interview. No, he fucking... The people will go crazy. He hit the panic button and aborted mission. Like, so, I don't know what happened. So, okay, maybe this is what happened. And you guys can talk, tell me if it is. So, he, we spoke on... Another day, we spoke on the phone. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, I'm playing hooky. Like, to talk to you on the phone. Because he had to be at work. Obviously, it's a completely different time zone than Who here. plays hooky from the U.S. military? Well, they, whatever. I don't know. And I didn't really... Hey, Sarge! I'm sick today. Yeah. Just in case so. we get fucking bombed in Kuwait. No, I'll but be, I'll be watching Netflix, apparently all right? Apparently, it's fine. What the fuck? Apparently, like, it's fine. Okay, Like, continue. if they're working, like, regular, because even my ex used to do that. Like, it wasn't, like, at war all the time. Like, you're just doing nothing. A bunch of government fucking you did a l- You did a lot of military people for um, a Democrat. Two a lot. people. A I can lot. still like the country and okay. not... Okay, continue. Any hoot. So he, um, so he's like, talk, we're talking for an, a while, hours, and then he's like, <laughs> I know. And then he's like, one point, he's like, oh, I just took my dick out. And I'm like, oh, oh buddy, relax. Talk about e- e- exactly. E- so that's when I was like, I was like, okay, bro. And he was like, bro, ew. So I think he was like turned off by a call. Right, because he goes, he goes, okay, this is my chance. She's gonna be like, all right, sweet, send me a video. What am I gonna do? Right, like, and fucking like, talk and him through like he masturbates right. himself? Like, sorry, either send something to my Venmo or like I'm not Praise doing anything God. like that. Like, Praise God. Mind. Shout out Hope. You're out of your Hope's fun- still here. Shout you're out. out of your, you're out of your mind. Like, I'm not doing that for free. Like, listen, if you send me money, listen, we can work something out. So if I'm you like, send me money, I'll so fucking I'm do whatever like, you want. I'm like, okay, bro. Seriously. He goes, ew, bro. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, so he got turned off that you called him bro. Yeah. But that was only response response to him like being like but over that creepy. might have right. right so then he was like being but then i don't know because then that night he was like you keep leaving me on red and i'm like i'm sorry because it's like nine o'clock in the morning there and it's like late here so i was like falling asleep like he's like right. having breakfast and i'm like going to bed so I, I apologize whatever but then like a completely shift in his behavior like he stopped so then i was like oh i'm sorry he like didn't open that message for like 12 hours um, what a cool guy. Yeah, so just like so completely cool. stopped answering me. So now we're at the point where he's completely deleted his Snapchat. Oh my God. Did he so, block you or delete but, it? Uh, but I think or also think another thing that I think scared him was on Wednesday, I had posted a picture on Snap and I said, back at it, tonight's pod night. And I think he saw that and was kind of nervous because he even said, he was like, oh, well, I didn't want to hit you up while you were doing the pod and it become a storyline. And I was like, no worries, we'll have a good night. Thinking he's going to write me in the morning. Right. The morning comes and goes. He doesn't write me. So I write him. I'm like, not for nothing, but like, I'm totally creeped out because now I'm thinking, like what the fuck is even going on like based off the way that we've been talking for the past three days it's a complete change in behavior like right. obviously something happened right so like i'm like now i'm like i'm like creeped out like think about the things that we talked about for yeah. you to now it's completely ghost me like you went from like wanting to show me a, a, a cock pic and then talking about to- seeing me in december so like literally you don't want to open my messages now like okay fantastic it's great wow just don't call people bros now you learned your lesson yeah, but you do get a bro after. Like, put your dick okay, away, so bro. Okay, so what else? No, that, I think that was it. And then um, I wrote, I don't know. He never, like, opened one of my messages. And then I said, whatever, I'm going to delete him as a friend on social media. So I go to delete him as a friend. He already deleted me as a friend. I was like, this motherfucker. Oh, my God. Yeah. So then I was like, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm going to block him. So I go to block him. And I put him in the um, the block category. And then I go to check if he's, like, that it registered and that it went into my block list. Not there. Turns out he deleted his whole Snapchat. Mm. So I'm like, okay, bye, Aaron from Levittown, if that's even your real name. <laughs> it's probably not his real name. He's not 30. He's if, not from Levittown. If any listeners know a Aaron, Aaron who is, quote, unquote, th- how old? 30. 30. <laughs> From Levittown. Oh my god, don't eat that. Um, this. Let us know. But I feel like you are leaving something out. No. Maybe. Am I? Maybe. Tell me, just say it. Does it, um. does it rhyme with treat? <gasps> oh my god. What just happened? <laughs> All of this beats fell out of my stress ball. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Is All it right. your anal beats? No. Well, these the, are very the dog's going to eat them. All right. Hope. 
just stay over there and just bring the dog to your way. Rico, get out of here. Don't okay, eat her anal beads. Okay, great. So, oh, yeah, so somehow in Hope, our... Oh, you can put him in the, um, okay. It's fine. She's got... Yeah. No, it's fine. Okay, She's oh, got great. It. Hope's Hope. great. She will Hope's be our amazing. new producer. We love you, Hope. <laughs> Woo! Praise God. Praise Jesus. It doesn't matter. Okay. Fine. Who cares? So, if he eats it and he dies, whatever. There it is. Just leave it open. Leave it open, Hope. We're good. Hope? Hope? Don't get fired Earth before you're hired, okay? <laughs> Hope? Hope? It's yeah. fine. Just leave him. Just let it go. No, it just... I mean... He's not going to eat him. You don't think? All right, go. So somehow in our conversation, mm -hmm. it's brought up about feet. There it is. Which is so fascinating because I find myself... It's fascinating to me as well. Yeah. Yeah. From Aaron. It was so... From Aaron I know. It's exa I know. I That's fuck... Really weird to be ironic. Right? No, it is. It is. This is what I'm saying. So I have somebody else in my life who also is um, big into feet. And I didn't know that, that this was a thing, but now I'm learning that there's a market for it. And I do plan on capitalizing. There's a, there's a huge market... And I can't even I, wrap my fucking no, head around it. I'm here for it. No, no. Here's the thing. Like, ladies, if you're listening out there, sell everything. If you could take pictures of your fucking yeah. fingernails, of your feet, just do yes, it. I, know. I don't judge. I'm just judging the, the fact that there is even a market for it. No, it's like a large What? Market. I don't understand. It's always the feet. Why? It's so they many like people it. with food. They like but it. But what is the mystique of it? I know some people are into that, it. That it's dirty? You don't have a thing? For feet? No, but no, not feet, but like something. No. Okay. Just for the other holes. All the other holes that are on your yeah. body, I like those. Yeah. Not your feet. I don't, even know, you walk I don't even know how it came up. Oh, no, because because he's talking about this being a safe space and that this is uh, where, this is saying it's a safe space. Right. We're going to build a trusting relationship. And I'm like, all right, I get it. Jesus he's overseas. Christ. He doesn't know who the fuck I am. I'm over here convincing myself that I'm the fucking wackadoo because I'm the one that's on the podcast. That, like, so I feel like I'm crazy. And he's saying all this shit. And I'm like, oh, I get it. Like, he's like a little scared. Like, right. let me help reassure him, you know? Right. Meanwhile, it was total like fucking reverse like psychology type shit and he's really a psychopath but whatever um so it came up that he likes feet or whatever and he was like oh can i make an, a um a confession or whatever and i'm like yeah what's up and he's i'm like oh and I'm, I'm not i'm not surprised to hear this because apparently there's a market for it right and i he was like well how do i become a customer and we were talking about that and i was ready to add him to the roster but obviously you this know this episode of the podcast is brought to you by amanda marie's only fans <laughs> uh you can subscribe <laughs> Which I think I'm going to do for my feet. Like, I might as well. Yo, honestly, do it. All right. Why would you not do it? I don't know. Because I don't really know a lot feet. about it. Hope was telling me that she knows someone that's in the market. So I think I'm going to have a conversation with her. So 100% she can set counsel you up. me on how to do it 100%. Do it. I want to know the prevailing rate. Because I know the I know the relationship that I have with somebody else where the, right. the foot exchange thing would happen. And, you know, he, you know. Right. That was a great thing. And I know that right. that's probably not what people are actually, like, buying, you know, for at this time. Like, the market's probably not that high. Um, I was probably it doesn't matter. It's fine. But, yeah, so I have to look into it. So he, he even asked about how to be a customer. And, like, I, I, you know. And he asked me if I ever did a fucking foot job. And I'm like, no. Oh, my God. This guy is wild. I never did that. So now so would. now what's the status? Completely? There's he's deleted no everything. There's status, no? Yeah. Everything's so done. now I'm hoping and I'm praying that he's watching this right no, now. Let him. And I'm because 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 Baba, what are you gonna do? Doesn't matter. He's gonna go back to his miserable life and fucking probably stay with you. Know what? He's a pathetic loser. You know what? And that's fine. And you had a chance to gain a very good friend. And okay? and, a, and, a, a good and friend. a lawyer. Yeah. And a service provider. Right. And you could have came onto the podcast and you could have had your own platform by our millions and millions of we fans. We could have, whatever. It doesn't we even could matter. Have, we could have tracked down your bitch of a wife. But, you know, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking maybe, maybe right on her by leaving you. Yeah. Maybe Drew has got a fat ass cock. Maybe. In the kilt. Maybe even in, in the, the kilt. kilt. And maybe his red hair is nice, you know? Maybe he has no I soul. Just, my thing is, is like, don't be a bitch. Like, that was a bitch move. Bitch like, just, move. Just be like, listen. Bitch move. Um, he could have came with me at a, with a million reasons. Hey, like my work. Hey, I'm working it out with Lauren. Hey, I'm feeling uncomfortable that you and your brother have a part. Whatever. Like, because I really respect people just being up front with me. Like, right. no, it's totally fine. I get it. Like, and I wouldn't even have cared. But the fact that you're such a bitch to wow. the point where you fucking delete your Snapchat. Like, you don't, I can't help but think that you're not well. Not well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you're, okay, so you're here a predator. It is. Like, so you, here it knows? is. He probably makes up numbers all the time. Like, oh, like, and try to bait people. Now I'm like, I don't even know. Right. I don't fucking, you So know, here it trust. is. His name is Aaron. It's probably His not. last name starts with a G. 
<laughs> due to investigative <laughs> work. <laughs> he lives it. and went to <laughs> co- went to school in Levittown. Levittown. Small town, but there is three high schools. Apparently. He is thirty. No, which probably means forty three. Right. Yep. Um. He is in Kuwait. He has an ex-wife named Lauren. An ex-wife named Lauren. Lauren, shout out to you, boo. You know, I'm so sorry I judged you, and I'm sorry I held you up your. You deserve that twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm that sorry we I held up your twenty five hundred dollars. Okay. Like, because if it ever does go to court, I will fucking spin my oh, story. I'll fucking get on And I will yeah. make sure that this I fuck w- bag. Okay. This fucking loser. Okay. Huh. Yeah. You know he has to pay his due. He does. And I'm glad you cheated on him. And rightly so. Yeah. I mean, fuck I don't him. know the logistics of that, but I just feel like that was, like, really a bitch move. Like, it was, like, like just be like, listen, like, it was a lot quick, and, like, I kind of want to chill out. I'd be like, no, I totally get it. Wish loser. you the best. You had, you, had, you, had, you had it made, and now... Made in now, the shade. And now you're a loser. Yeah. Now you're a loser. Now everyone hates you. Your wife hates you. <laughs> the What Goes On podcast hates Hate you. you. Yeah. Everyone hates I you. I mean, hate's a strong word. No. I'm such a fucking pussy that, like, even if he texts me and, like, apologize tomorrow, not because I'm, like, uh, I'm, I'm, like, a sucker for him, but, like, I'm like that with people. Because if you're up and honest you're and out. you can own up to your mistakes, you're and I'm always willing to be like, no, you're I get out. it. We've all been there. We've all made a bitch move. We've all not taken the road that was, you know, less traveled. I get I it. get the mistakes, but, and I'm try- I've been trying to tell you this. I've been trying to tell you forever. Ugh, people are constantly telling you who they are. No, don't move. Hope you can't make Hope. any sudden movements move, now. Hope. Just don't. Just stay where you are. Where you are. The fucking audio is probably destroyed now. Oh my god. So what have you been trying to tell me for? I've while? been trying to tell you. People always tell you who they are. Yeah. Believe them. Yeah. Something will happen. Right. Someone no, will say something. Right. Someone will do something, you're and right. you go, "Ah, oh, no, probably this. Oh, no, probably no, no." You're just looking at everything with rose-colored glasses. It you is know, that. But I think that. It I is think that. That's, I think that's largely due to my profession, because I, I work with a lot of people who have issues. Whether that's homelessness, foster care, abuse, domestic violence, trauma, whatever that is. So I don't go in and look at you like, oh my God, you're so fucked up. I look at you, well, there's a reason why you're acting out. There's a well, reason why. Well, that's probably your issue. You deal with like, you know, downtrodden people who need help. And you're applying that to like grown men who are trying to court you. But I think so maybe that's us, a no, little bit think, of a difference. No, but I think all of us have our own levels of mental yeah, health issues, our humans. own trauma, our own experiences, our own adversities and we all based on our resilience and our resources and our support systems react differently to those situations but at the end of the day if you just can show a consistent pattern of being an asshole you just are an asshole well, that's Baba. What I, feel. I think like it's that's what's so weird what about it is. it is because he didn't start off as an as an asshole and this goes back to what i told but you last time what did i tell you last week what, what did I, I tell the people? Do you think I remember last week? We just went oh, over this. Do you remember? Like, I do, what did I tell the people last week? What? When you first meet a person, you're meeting their right. representative, right. and it's the best right. that they will ever be right. in their whole life. Yeah, we and look, take it took about like 12 hours. We only take into consideration he's fucking married, so it was never going to be like some type of relationship thing. But I'm Seemed just talking like about it. being cool. Like, why can't we be friends? Why can't? Because you, you didn't send him enough feed pics. That's why. No, I think I, I think the problem is that I sent too many pics that it became a point where he wasn't <sighs> able to have a boundary of being friend because he was already, like, ready for right. it. Right. You know? And that right. was my fault. I should have been, like, no pictures and maybe, like, got to know him a little bit better because we would have like had a better chance. Like a human being, chance. almost, right? Well, we were, like, we never met. So we are like, this is me, you know? And I sent a picture. Sorry that I looked good in the picture. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so that's our Soldier Boy story. Whatever. Like, so I he's really fucking care. done and he's out. And it's done. We, well, that's so it. it. It's, it's gone. Out. You're out. Yeah. And it's if done. more information comes, we'll share we'll, it. Oh, for sure. Because we want to find him. For sure. Well, do we? For what? Beat him up. Well, we'll find Lauren. Slice his tires. No. Yeah, if, if Lauren, if you're listening somehow, or Drew, if you're out there, we love you and we support you and we uh, we appreciate you. And uh, I don't care that you're just that a bartender. Has, that changed. You take his money and you spend it on anything and everything you want. I know. Because you know what, boo? You deserve it, okay? If you were living with that fucking animal for 10 years, okay? You deserve more. You can't. He's out in Kuwait. He's probably fucking doing who God knows what to all these villages out there. Who fucking knows what and he's all doing their out feet. there? Oh, their feet. He's probably chopping fucking refugees' feet off, probably, right? If I had to guess. I know, he's not. Psycho. How will they fucking... He's, probably, they, picking, all... he's probably pickling fucking feet in oh Kuwait. Ew. He's fucking they're, psycho. They're, they're, then there's no help at that point. His name is Aaron. No, that's what he says his name is. Probably not. His name is probably George. He's probably 43. Yeah, I don't even care anymore. But yeah, that's, that's the story. But talking about that, it brings me up because um, what our, our other cousin, who... I don't even know if that's the same cousin you're talking about because you mm-hmm. won't tell me who it is. Yeah. Uh, she reached out and she was talking about how 
same thing, kind of not relationships, but like people on the internet and all that shit. She was posting about how guys, how they'll they'll you know slide into your DMs, quote unquote. Okay. And like, if you don't respond, all of a sudden you're ugly. All of a sudden you're a fucking fat, yeah. ugly bitch, and yeah. you're disgusting. Yeah. It's like okay. Number one, number two, and number three, go fuck yourself. Oh, I know. Okay. Also, but, like, like that but if you're a girl be- and you get one or even two of those text messages, just block them. It goes away. It oh. goes away. Just block them. It's gone. Holy shit. That's if strong. you're a guy and you're fucking writing, oh, my God, you're so pretty. No response. Oh, my God. Hey, can we? what's your number? No well. response. And then well. your next response is, fuck you. You are ugly anyway. Like, I've, <gasps> I have so many girlfriends who show, Jesus Christ, I know. who show me these things. And it's like, oh, my. There's so many unwell people out there. It's astonishing. But that's why I was just saying, like, I work with a lot of people. And it's like, a lot of us, a lot of people, we all have our own Everyone's levels. ill. Thank, Thank you, so you much. producer. Hope. Best. Love her. <laughs> She's getting a bonus. Every- <laughs> Everyone is unwell. I think that's the moral of the story. There's a spectrum of, like... No, but we're all... Wh- our, we are all fucked up. Everyone. We all have a level of fucked upness. And whatever right. that looks like, it's different for us. And unfortunately, I mean, people have it way worse than a lot of us could even imagine. But we all have that little bit... That just but I don't think that screwy. gives you a pass for like being an asshole to Sometimes. females on the internet. Oh no, guys! If you send three, no. here's the deal: if you send one text or one message and the girl didn't respond, maybe she was actually doing okay. something or she forgot. If you send two and there's no response, but last response, week you said if you really like someone, well, I guess you don't really know them. If there's so two it. and there's uh, if, if you send them two and there's no response, stop. I feel like that doesn't. Even if happen. you send three, you are a predator. No, 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 you're a predator. All right, so can I you? You need you? to be caged. Enough out of you. Enough out of you. Yeah, but what is your like problem? They just blo- like, they're not even... No, no, they're what is even- your problem? Things that we don't even want to wrap our head around, so they become irrelevant. You're on life, your and phone, them. and you send one, two days, two, three days. Weird. Three. What do you, what do you think is going to happen? You think they're going to be like, oh my God, I didn't see your first three messages. I really like you. Let's get married. So- no, Baba, that's not going to happen. July 15th to July... Right. Enough. So listen to this. So in the dating app that I'm in, I guess me and this guy match, and he writes, "Hi Most Bella." Me. Ciao Bella. So whatever, like that was on the 15th, and then on the 23rd, and I was like, "Oh sorry, like apparently I suck at this app. Like how are you?" He writes back, "LOL, you do." <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I mean, obviously we're not going to talk anymore, but it's like <laughs> it's hilarious. Like I was like, okay, I go fuck myself. That was like, funny. Sorry, though. I know it was, but. It was just funny because I was like, oh, you're not going to say anything else after that. Okay, good. Great. Fantastic. <sighs> Whatever. The internet's a scary place. And, like, you really never know what you're going to get on the other side of it. So it's crazy. But what are you going to do? The internet is so wild, especially now. It's out it's of control. Just, it's out of control. And then yeah. you, you see these stories of people who have, like, full families. And then they're on, like, TV shows on TLC. It's like... Yeah, he also had another whole family, and he also murdered seven people. And the wife yeah. and the kids were like, "Oh my god, he was so great! He's the best we dad played ever. volleyball in the backyard. Like I, know, I loved him. My dad was great, and he was a serial killer. That's fucked up. The, the Gilgo Beach killer. I have a connection do we know to him. Who he is? Yeah, we do. Wait, is it done? Like, does he, that? It's been done. No. No, it's like someone he knows. Dad. It's right. Thank you. Sorry. It's someone I know. <laughs> it's someone I know. They were in the same fraternity. Someone I know was their fraternity brother, his father. Yeah. And the school rhymes with Mate even... Moe's. Good, I can't get that, so it doesn't Saint matter. St. Joe's. So, don't say that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so he turned out to be the fucking guilt. Like, you just don't know. It's like, oh, my dad's yeah. going out to work. You know, he's a, a yeah, carpenter. Yeah, so I got catfish. So Next thing you know, there's 17 killed. dead hookers. And then you're watching news, and your dad's like, oh, wow, it's crazy, right? And you're like, yeah, wow, you talk to him. Next thing you know, He's the, the fucking swats pounding down your fucking door, and your dad's, see ya! I know, that's so Killing scary. hookers! I know. No, it's really scary. Why do you have to kill them? They're already hookers. No, just fuck them and go. I think, like, he... Or just, like, like beat them up. Some people have, again, issues. No, it's a so thirst. Maybe, like, it's a thirst for killing, right? No, not even just killing, but usually they'll pick, like, a population. So his was... Hookers? Hookers. So he probably felt like these women, like, had, like, a grow, like, you know, and felt well, their way about that. I think a lot of people, a lot of serial killers pick hookers. It's because generally... Hookers don't have like very close families, and there's no one who's gonna be uh, looking for them. And they're maybe. in a dangerous p- go, profession, go. so if they do go missing, it's a nor- it's a normality. 
You know what I mean? If someone was a librarian and they went missing, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I I'm just saying? want you to know your dog is probably going to die from the beads. That Rico, stop it. eating the beads! Hope! Pet the dog. Act <laughs> like you like it. It's going to pee on you because it's weird. Oh, my God. Sorry, I had a stress ball because I noticed in like the past couple of pods, like I'm always playing with my hair. And I think that's like an anxiety thing. Right. So I said, you know what? Let me not be annoying and let me get a stress ball. So you got it and it I broke? I stressed it out so fucking much oh my God. that I ripped it open. leather? No. Stop. And okay, so you're putting more on the floor. Two more beads compared to the 50,000 that are already on there. Johnny, <sighs> Anthony, let's not. Oh yeah, he's gonna fucking eat him and die. Sorry, if he Rico. fucking dies, if if Rico dies, no one's gonna care. I'm a, if, no Rico, if Rico dies, I'm gonna throw your kid <gasps> into. No, I'm not even gonna take him. La, la, Listen, la, la. no, don't if talk Rico, about my kid because your fucking dog can never compare to a fucking hey, tiny speck. If Rico of dies, my kid. listen to me. No, I don't even care. If Rico dies, uh, I'm going to cake your kid. I'm gonna take him out to the deep end. I'm gonna put. Uh, cement shoes on him, and I'm gonna drop him off the deep end. Do you see Hope? You understand? Do you see, do you see the fucking? Yeah, do you it's understand? Like, it's fucking abuse. Hope is not point. happy with me. Exactly. Like, do you not? Doesn't care? matter. Doesn't matter. He's so resilient that he'll swim right up to the top. He's a good swimmer. He's a good swimmer. He's been in swimming since he was six months old, and he could probably outswim you. That's not. That's not even probably accurate. Could. That's not accurate. Don't talk about my kid like that. You're a dumbass fucking dog. If you're eating beads on the floor, you deserve to die because you're a fucking idiot. Your kid stuck a fucking pen in a fucking outlet. No, he didn't. Whatever Never. he did, he did something stupid. He did. He Imagine fell in the fact... pool two weeks ago. That wasn't stupid. It wasn't stupid. Fall in the pool. No. Oh. I kept saying he keeps leaning in and trying to get this out of the pool. I said, you have all your clothes on. You're going to fall in. And, and what happened? Do, I don't even care. And he fell in the pool. And he leaned so much he fell in. And like an what? idiot. I didn't even care. And idiot. he didn't even care either. That's not stupid. He's not sitting idiot. there licking beads off the fucking ground. Yeah, either. one has cognitive thinking and one is doesn't. Is it's, it's food or it's not. He doesn't know. You have to taste it to you're find stupid. out. You're stupid. Well, then I don't care. Like, you deserve to die at that point. Like, you're dumb. I don't care. <laughs> And we're back. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Our hot water heater turned out again, and I'm going to kill my parents. No, I'm not going to let him do it. But we're okay. So during the break, yeah. Um, me we and were... Anthony can't keep our mouths shut. That it like <laughs> all this shit fucking pours out when we're right. off camera. So we're gonna. So I know, I know. We know Tiger King was like a long time ago, and like. It's kind of out of like the zeitgeist of like you know. But John Anthony culture. started singing one of the songs from them, and it made me think about that. Right. So basically, what happened was when Tiger King was a big deal, and the on our podcast page, we haven't even uh, recorded an episode yet. We were just we like, were just building the page, trying putting to get memes a following, out, funny stuff like that. memes, right. funny photos. Yeah. So Amanda put a meme up uh, of like it was like a picture of a guy with its hand in a puppet of um elmo, elmo. sorry elmo we love and it said I something like Sesame street so let's just and it that. and it said sorry. like uh the t what did it say it's like joe exotic and it was like the puppet was like um straight guys hooked on meth turning them gay or so yeah. something like that it, yeah it was, well, it was you like, say it like that either way it was very funny and and you know we know that on social media we're like hashtagging we're tagging whatever because that's how you get more views and all that right so i had and that was completely wrong i think looking back on it how wrong of me it wasn't that wrong because it's like it's like a, we just, it's, i had a hashtag they're, a million, they're hundreds of miles away you're not even really thinking like what when you watch it on tv you don't like you don't like think to like that, real people. Like it, I know, which is the problem. I exactly. get right. Exactly. So Amanda, so Amanda tags. So you know, I Tiger what King. was his even name? Oh my god, the main guy. That's in Travis. Jail. Travis Maldonado. No. Oh, um, yeah, right. But that's Holy not a big shit. Whatever. So the one that oh god, it's so sad to say the one that had killed himself while watching the documentary was uh, Travis Maldonado. Our last name, especially being that that's our last name. I think we felt like some type it was of so whatever. Weird, so yeah. I'm hashtagging Tiger King, Tigers, you know, Carol Bassin, like all these things and one of the hashtags was Travis Travis Maldonado so we come to find out that we got a text message um a DM message yeah so we put out she posted it and like it got like a decent amount of like views and like likes and shares and shit so like oh it's cool it was like a funny stupid meme yeah and then all of a sudden you fucking text me or did I something you're like oh my god I know so apparently Travis Maldonado's the guy who killed himself on Tiger King Joe Exotic's um one of his husband. husbands his sister, his sister, messaged us on Instagram, and was like, "Oh my God! Like this is so irresponsible. You know, take this down, yada yada yada." 
and we're like, oh my god. So I immediately go into fucking go into the fucking chat. I screenshot everything. Her name was like Amanda, uh, uh, Jessica Maldonado or something like that. Right. So apparently, like she like goes and like searches his name and like just yells at people whoever like posts anything bad about him or anything. So like we felt super bad. So she's like, take it down, yada yada. So we took it down. And yeah, her name was Ashley. So she had messaged something. She was like, can you please take this the fuck down? And when I first got that, I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know him. yet. Fuck so him, I, right. I go to her page and fuck. It's his sister. It's his sister. Let it's me say something right now. Sister. If something, God, God forbid, something like that ever happened to you, let's say, and somebody was making a stupid, bullshit, fucking, dumb, fucking Meme? Meme about you and then hashtag you. So maybe I have a bunch of pictures of my brother and like in memory of hashtag John Anthony hashtag John, and I click it and all of a sudden it's Elmo getting fisted. I would be like, go fuck yourself. I would be just as mad, probably even more, like probably 10 times even more. Yeah, we didn't so, have that many views or that many followers. Like so clearly she like. But she saw because she probably follows. She the searches chat. his name clearly yeah. and like looks for yeah. old memes and shit. How unfortunate is that? So now we, we felt fucking so fucking bad. Like, yeah, I. That's really like his real life perfect. sister, and like I we know. see her Instagram page, and like we can see her, and like I know. rest and in peace, Travis, I'm and all this shit. I'm hearing me cry because it's like it was pictures it was of her, up. and like her, that's her brother, yeah. and here I am with my brother, Emma. and we're trying to like make fun of it. And you know what? It was so distasteful. You did that. It, but you know what? Who did it? You know why? Who did it? <laughs> Who did it? You want to know what? Who posted it? The meme was fucking hilarious. Who posted but the meme though on me, our page? Okay. But okay. the meme didn't have his name. It was me that chose it as a hashtag because I just tagged everyone that was in the series because it was trending. You know what I mean? It was a big thing. But he's also the only one in the series who took a gun to his head and literally blew his brains off yeah, on dead. fucking live television. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. So that was like really insensitive and I'm so embarrassed that I didn't even pick up on something like that. Right. But the second that she reached out to us, you know, she was like, Can you please take that the fuck down? And I Within seconds, I did. I took the hashtag. Yeah, you're like, 100%. oh, I'll remove, I'll remove the hashtag. hashtag. So sorry. And, and she was like, thank you. I appreciate it. She said Whatever, thanks. It yeah. means a lot, you know? And I don't know. That was like a thing she, for me. She could, like, be, she could be all like our long lost like, cousin and shit. Well, Maldonado, maybe. I don't know. You know? Could be. But yeah, we took it down. So we're not like complete assholes. We're, maybe like, we are. Nice. Maybe we are. I think I'm kind of nice. I'm probably more nice than you. Hope. Yeah, Hope. Me. Hope. Who is nicer, Hope? Don't put it who do you, Not who do you like more. Who's nicer? Be honest. You're both nice. Who, who do you no. want to say? She's going to have to pick John Anthony because I, I'm her best friend, that. so I have I to tell her all the memes. That's fine. So who do you think is nicer? I guess you would be nicer. But you I think I would? Yeah. Actually, or just because I'm asking nice. you? Fake nice. Maybe. Think about the way that he rail, like, completely. Who do you think is nicer as a human being? Out in society. In no, 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 no. In a human being setting. In the, out in the world. I haven't seen you really out in the world. So you think pick her? He so you pick her? Why? Did you watch the last podcast? So you pick her? Me questions? So you pick her? Oh, so you like married men. So you pick her? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, bitch. And love you. See? Ridiculous. Yeah, well. Truth. <sighs> well, guys, it seems that we are coming to a close here. And, you know, we appreciate everyone listening. We, we really do. We say this every time we sign off, but we really do love you listening, and we're glad you're here with us. And I will, me, Captain Passion, will be here every week, and we will be giving you what you want to hear. You know, when we first started, I was like, oh, we're literally going to get, like, three views. Like, three. Yeah. Maybe, like, seven. And, like, a month later, we'll be like, oh, we have 30. But whatever. The but first one was like three hundred. The thing is, like, sometimes I feel like weird, like bringing it up to like people that I'm just meeting, where like only my brother have a podcast. Yo, same. It's like, um, you're so corny. Like, you're five listeners. But I think <laughs> how, and I want, I think it's important for people to know like the birth of this show and how it came about. Like, me and John Anthony were siblings. Unfortunately, I see him almost <laughs> every fucking day, and we end up sitting around mom's table and we're drinking coffee and we're bullshit. Yeah, we're we do this every this, day, this, that, regardless. So we, so we, and a lot of t a lot of people, and sometimes we crack each other up. Yeah, but also we have sometimes mom, Lynette, or aunts or uncles. We're like, you guys are so funny. You guys should have a show, and they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. But then one day we're like, fuck it, we're gonna just record us talking. Like, why the fuck not? Right. So we just decided how, to do how that. How did the studio get? the studio? Johnny Anthony does literally everything. And I don't give a wait fuck. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Can you just say that again, please, for the listeners, please? 
my thing is I'm say it so- again John Anthony like does everything for the podcast Thank but you. I also am a way more busier individual than him fair so let's fair. just say that that's fair you know your phone is vibrating it is it's like our niece wild. it's Stephanie it's Stephanie okay well let's not throw her under the bus okay. because she hates no, us no not in a bad way no I texted her <laughs> she, she still hates back. us I called her out I said really you're not gonna answer me and now she's back to back she back. still hates us what are no, you gonna I do I mean a little bit they both do guys I, I know we say this last time and let me just fucking make this very clear what is it I mean, we're going to have to, maybe we'll cut this and we'll put it like before the episode because I just need to. Okay, here we go. Okay. When Johnny Anthony has an event, you know it's intense. Because it's not even that intense. It's just, listen. I said last time, it's all, it's, it's, it's literally just a joke. We're just joking. Nothing is real. Except everything I said about our, that's real. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, not, it's like we're not really like serious. Like we're just like no, talking know. shit. No, like no, but like, you know what? You know what I mean? That's why I get upset. This is why I get upset. Is that when I have to now explain myself to you that I'm not serious? Then it's annoying. It's like even, you don't know me enough to know that it's like a thank joke. Thank you. Thank you. Because then I'm like, oh damn, I don't even get down with you like that. Because right. how could you think how that I'm really like, like right. we're joking, we're kidding? Me and John Anthony are known for being ob- obnoxious, and you might say something silly, and we're gonna kick you for right. it. You know, we're gonna make fun of you, we're gonna poke on it, we're gonna make it. But who's bigger. the first gonna... one to text you when you need some text? But I'm there for who's everyone. F- any right. okay? Who's the first My... person to pick you up no. if you're drunk and you need you. to get picked up? That is us. Um, we, you know, we're always. Please. Right. I don't even want to get into it because right. I know that we do enough. I'll do anything. Today was right. monsooning. I went to go pick up a paper from my grandmother's house, drop it to my mom's job so she could fax it to the state. Right. It's like a whole thing. Because I'm not like that. I'll do anything for Well, anyone, Grandma, anyway. she's just fucking lazy. She's got to get her, you know? <laughs> no, Grandma needs to see Shout out more. to my grandmother. Granny Shout Mac, out. We love you. Fucking oh Marty Cruz. Yeah. And we're going to end you with a... Um, what should we end with? I don't know. A shot? Maybe because hope's here. Maybe some sort of prayer. Okay. Do you, should I do the now behold the lamb? Or oh my God. <laughs> oh. okay. I know we're we're starting off here, but a quick, 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 quick story. So when we were younger, we were very involved in church because we were little kids and we didn't know any better. We were brainwashed. <laughs> Sorry, hope. Anyway. Love you. So Amanda gets recruited to be in a in, a, in a in a in a play of sorts. Yeah, yeah. In like it was a, in lyrical like dance. Or something. Lyrical dance, I don't know. right? So <laughs> okay. you know, Amanda has always been like you know, when teenage years, she was like the rebellious oh. one, and she was you know did this and did that. But our other sister happens to be very religious, and she wanted Amanda to partake in a. I think Lynette would say she's not religious. Her faith is not. It's about her relationship with God. Sure, it's not religious. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so she recruited Amanda to be in, you know, uh, in a, a, lyrical uh, dance in a production, I'm such a dancer. in a production. So, so now, okay. So now they are almost interpreting the song with, you know, hand gestures, not real hand gestures. It's not real American no, sign language, it mind wasn't you. It wasn't it? wasn't? Nope. <laughs> wait, it wasn't? Nope. <laughs> It Shut wasn't up. real sign language that you were doing. This is it now? This isn't Behold the Lamb. <laughs> it's Spoiler the lamb. alert. So Amanda, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's like, I don't know how to do it. And like, I felt in Lynette's spirit that she's like, oh my God, we got her. Like, you know, I'm finally going to convert my sister. Like, this is such a beautiful moment. And Amanda is oh doing this dance. And it's like, and she's so into it. And like, she thinks, like, I, don't, I don't even know what's going on. Because I'm obviously young at this point. We're, she's we probably, were, yeah, we you're probably, little. what, 14? I'm, I'm, I'm probably 11. I'm so bad with perception of time. And right like, now. and it, the first, the first like couple lines, it's like, now behold the lamb. The precious, the precious lamb, lamb of God. God. And now they're in these robes and these And they're garbs, doing the whole dance And she's fucking, and now are... behold the lamb. And it's like, I great. fucking can fucking not right now. <laughs> so funny and she's like the precious lamb of god and then i remember this i remember this ready ready, yeah, ready this? This born way. into sin and i go oh my god oh my i go god. we lost her i go we fucking lost her now she's gone now <laughs> it's not even real sign language you're not even nothing's even really happening oh my god somebody make it stop i can't deal and she's just oh fucking god, doing it the and the no <laughs> and she's in the garb and the lights are shining i go oh my god oh, i go I, lo- god. I go i go i go i lost another sister there we go i go you're happy god right, stop, you go you're happy god because you got them both 
beautiful. It's not even it funny. Was, it's it was beautiful. It was a beautiful so production. Oh my god! And they were in this like sheer robe, and there was a blue light, and it was oh just. Oh my god! It really I, was like magnificent. Think, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to no, no, no. It really was magnificent. <laughs> the only problem was, it's like people really thought it was like powerful. Oh For me, I was like, oh, that's like a cool. It's like a TV show. Like, oh, that's cool. Like you know, like that was a cool commercial, or like oh. that was a cool like dance. <laughs> but like, these people were like moved by it. They're like, oh my god! You know what? And maybe they were. And you know what? Maybe they were. And maybe it's they were. My, and it's, it's like, who am I to judge? Who the judge. fuck do I know? Right, no, for sure. I'm just some fucking obese Puerto Rican Johnny in a basement with a fucking $10 mic. Oh, my gosh. Don't take, fuck, don't listen to me. I don't know fucking shit about shit or ass about ass. He remembered the dance moves. I can't even. You were that electric. Was... Honestly, you were, but... maybe you were meant to do that. Oh, no, now we'll never know. Was this recorded on YouTube? It has to be somewhere. It was probably like I a don't flip think it was. back then. It was no, like I don't fucking... think it was because I think it was like a lot of practice and then we didn't end up like really doing it. I was part of like a different dance team like with it was, the church and stuff. It was but so that good. whole it was, miracle thing. It was so good. But it's actually, good. it's so hilarious that no, you guys could, just couldn't even understand if you really just couldn't take it. Like, oh, it was so good. Oh, thank you for bringing that up. That was good. That was really good. Anyway, back to reality. Yes. Sorry, just Ooh. kidding. Not, but, yep. Um... Jesus no. loves us. Yes, I know. No, that was good. That was good. That was good. Oh, uh, again, share us, like us on Facebook, Instagram. follow us on Instagram, follow us on Spotify. Uh, check us out on Spotify. Yeah. It's so stupid. I mean, but just fucking do it. It's also not. It. It's also very hilarious. Just put it on when you're driving. Like, what the fuck? What are you gonna listen to? I know. Jason Derulo again. Well, I'm probably listening again? to Jonas. Again. I'm probably listening to Jonas Brothers for the seventeenth time because that's all my son listens to. That's fair. Shout so. out. Joe Bros. Shout out. Um, we love you. We appreciate your service, and um, yeah. we'll see you again very soon. And uh, let's thank Hope for being with us today. Yes, thank you, Hope. Yes, our guest Hope. Our guest so uh, producer. Our guest Hope. And I, so I really much. did feel. I really did feel. The energy good. was up. I felt good. Yeah, it was you good. Know, your aura is great. It We're was a great aura. It. I felt like. We can yeah, schedule her good. for like another couple of there months. There was some sort of like a spiritual inside of me. Like it just felt good and free and loose and full of love. Yeah, we did. Know? So here you go. Cheers to all of us. Cheers to what goes on pod. Follow, like, share, comment. To the fucking moon. Love you. Bye. This the way it is. Better wait three and I make sure then. Break your ankles, cause you paper thin. Money sign, that's what baby paper is. I don't care about that though. Gotta gotta go down, go down low. Got a new single. Go